Welcome back guys, Gaming HD here and in this video I'm going to be starting a new series on this channel and I'm going to call it Games with Gold Reviews okay so pretty much what I'm going to be doing is reviewing every game with gold that you get on Xbox so this month's one, well there was two, there's um Oh, I can't remember what the other one was, but this one is um, Rise, Son of Rome. And there's another one. Oh, The Walking Dead Season 2, that's it. Um, so I've picked this one to do because I've already started playing the game, so I can actually review it. And uh, yeah, it's a really, really good game, guys. So I'm going to be doing this every month. I'm, at first, I'm going to start off just picking one game to review, and then I'll eventually get around to doing both of them. So, like, every two weeks, I'll review a game, pretty much. That is the free game of gold. And if you don't know what that is, then pretty much it's, um... With a gold Xbox Live membership, Xbox will give you two free games with gold every month. And as long as you keep your subscription, it will let you keep playing them. If you get, like, a, a free trial, download the game, and then just don't buy Xbox Live again, it won't let you play the game. I won't be doing 360 ones for this, because they, I can't download them unless they're backwards compatible. Um, also, if you want me to do it on PlayStation, then yeah, I can do that as well. Um, the only problem I have with that is the PlayStation 3 games tend to be trash, the absolute rubbish. So, Xbox actually give you decent games. Like, uh, we've had um, Outlast, I think. We've had Outlast, we've had this, Rise Son of Rome, which was a launch title. We've had Sunset Overdrive. So yeah, quite a lot. And Assassin's Creed Black Flag, just at the top of my head, that's all I know. So yeah, guys, um, let's jump into the review. So guys, um, the first problem I have with this game is a negative one. And it's loading screens. So what I'm actually going to do to you now is I'm going to show you how long this takes to load into the campaign and believe me it's long and i've you know you know me with my reviews if you watched my reviews in the past i hate games that have long loading screens it really isn't a very good experience for me so you can see i've got a timer in the corner and uh yeah i'll speed this up And so you can see, that was like, I think it was 1 minute and 11 seconds that took to load this game. So, uh, yeah, we are now into the campaign. And the campaign for this game, I absolutely love so far. I have not completed it, I think I've only got up to about 18% uh, after recording the clips for this. And the thing I love about this game is the combat, the, the, the moves everything like that the way you kill the enemies is really really nice so you can push them back and then you push like a to block like that like i just did and um yeah then you just hit them and just keep hitting them um i only found out towards the end of recording this video that there's actually a really easy way to just take them out quicker and uh i think they call it a super takedown or something but the tutorial thing only told me how to do it quite far into the game so I didn't actually know if you're like saying to me oh you can kill these people quicker a lot quicker well, I know but I didn't know then so but yeah guys the combat in this game is really really nice the other thing that's really nice in this game is uh, like the graphics the graphics is super super good it's really really on point um, you're probably surprised I'm saying this because this game only runs, I believe, at 900p is the resolution. Because obviously the Xbox One isn't that powerful to run games at 1080p, 60fps with these high uh, graphics like this. But the, for me, the graphics are completely fine and I'm playing this on a 1080p TV at 900p. Um, but yeah, on an Xbox One S, I'm playing it on, <coughs> which has... 
slightly better graphics, only slightly. So, um, it possibly could be run. No, it can't be because it's locked. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. But, um, yeah, guys, uh, the graphics on this are super, super good. Now, I know that this game is quite old now. I think it's like three years old. It's the same uh, sort of age as the Xbox One itself because this was actually a launch title um, for the Xbox One so it came out with the Xbox One which is why you can buy these in day one edition but seriously guys I would recommend you pick this game up because it's seriously seriously good I haven't played through the entire campaign hence why I'm not saying anything about it um, all I know at the moment is we're just fighting these barbarians I think you call them um, but yeah we're just killing those off and there's, there's different types of enemies as well. So you can see here, there's a big guy uh, <laughs> who's running at me right now, that guy. That's a more powerful enemy than the other people. The other people are just normal people that you can kill pretty quickly with one of those heavy attacks I've just found out they're called. Um, so when they've got a picture of that skull over their head, the big guy is normally a red skull, but on the normal people it's just a white skull. If you do a super heavy attack on those people, they'll just die. If they've got the skull above their heads and you can see how the guy's blocking me right well to stop that you actually have to push him by keep pushing Y and it will just keep pushing him back and then his thing will come out of the way and you stab him or you do a super heavy attack um, there's also different um, like sort of upgrades that you can get I'm sorry I didn't show you but there are some upgrades that you can get on this um, and it does tell you at the beginning of the game you sort of need them because your character sometimes relies on them so Either they can consist of extra health, a stronger sword, I'm pretty sure, um, different moves, I think. I definitely know there's one with extra health, because that's the one that I, I bought both of them. So, I had both of those for extra health. And you can push uh, down, I think it's down on the D-pad on your controller, and that will give you extra health. The other thing is, is what it's telling me to do now, is firing arrows. Um, that's a pretty good experience as well. Again, this game is pretty much designed to show off what the Xbox One can do. And, uh, yeah, I think Microsoft have made a really, really good job of it. So, the conclusion on this, guys, is I would recommend you pick this game up. It's free right now, as of recording this video. And even when this video gets uploaded, it's still free. Um... So guys, let me know uh, what you think of this new series, because I'm going to keep it going. So pretty much every two weeks, or every time they bring out two new games, I'll review one, one week, and then two weeks later, I'll review the next one, if you get that right. So there's an average of four weeks in a month. So the first week of the month, I'll review the first game, and then leave it a week, and then the week after, I'll review the other game. Again, guys, I can't do this for 360, but I can do it for PlayStation if you'd like me to do it for PlayStation. Again, I'll say this again as well. Um, the PSN games that it gives you for free sometimes can be PS3 games on a PS4. Um, and sometimes they could be PSP games. Not PSP, PS Vita, sorry. Them sort of games. And, uh, no offence, but they're normally trash. They're not very good. They're, some of them are good. I've, I've got one on my PS4 right now that I think was last month's free one. And, um, it's called Disc Jam. And that one was really good. So if you want me to, to do a review on that. So just say in the comments if you want me to do a review on PSN games. And I will do that. But for now, I'm going to continue doing it on Xbox. Because they, they actually bring out some decent games every month. So, um, yeah guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, tell me if you enjoyed this first episode of this series. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Again, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.